Welcome Destination Church. If you are watching this, then you don't like reading emails. And can I just say, same. <laughs> All right. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start recording me reading through the emails for you so that you can either just toss your phone in the side of the car while it plays so you can listen along or you could watch along with us and watch me kind of get a little bit more insight into what's going on. First of all, thank you guys so much for jumping into our monthly update for DC Kids, all right? So I'm going to quickly share my screen real quick so you guys can see the email if you're watching along. But if not, you can just go ahead and listen because I'm going to read everything on here. Obviously, we are in the month of October, all right? So it's going to be a five-week month or a five-Sunday month. It's going to be fantastic. I'm super excited about all that we've got coming up. Um, it's it's pumpkin season, all right? Treat yourself to something delicious, okay? I may not like pumpkin myself, but whatever anybody else says, other pumpkin haters out there, all right? Get yourself a pumpkin something, okay? A pumpkin something. <laughs> all right, so with the month of October, we do have some big events coming up. Um, in, sep um, in October 22nd and 23rd, um, it's a Friday and Saturday. We are actually hosting this a simple conference. That's the name of it, simple conference. Um, it's actually not um, put on by Destination Church. It's put on by one of our affiliate ministries, which is Family Discipleship Ministries. But we are hosting it at Destination Church here in Waycross and Blackshear. So we're really excited about that. Um, it's an event for the whole family. It's a great conference that we have something for our elementary kids, for our middle school, high school, and you guys as the adults. We're going to be really excited to be partnering along with FDM and hosting this conference. All right. Um, you can go ahead and I've got the registration link inside um, the email. You can click on that and you'll find more details there. Okay. One of the other things that's coming up in November because we're only like a few weeks away from Thanksgiving. Um, we're doing this every single year. We've got turkey on the go. This is another amazing service opportunity for the whole family. Um, we've got different jobs and uh, volunteer opportunities that we'll have from prepping the food, from boxing the food, from delivering the food. Um, but we're gonna be taking out donations all month long so that we can serve our community, serve people that may not have the opportunity to have a good Thanksgiving meal. And so we're super excited about bringing that back into play, all right? So again, um, the registration for that will come up pretty soon, I'm sure by the end of this month. Um, but for the meantime, um, we are accepting donations. We've already pulled out Cash the Turkey, put him back on the stage. We're really excited about the season of giving that is coming up, all right? So one of the last things as well, we are in a brand new teaching series. So in this teaching series, it's themed big and small. So kind of Alice in Wonderland-esque, you got, you know, eat this little thing and grow really big and really small and all that stuff. But we're actually talking about the story of Job all month long. So in these five weeks, we got five amazing big ideas that we're going to be teaching your kids. It covers things from, hey, we are small, but God is big, to, hey, God cares when we have really big feelings, right? I love how they word that, by the way. Um, it's talking about things, how we can be a big help in small ways. So these are some fantastic teaching points where the curriculum is taking a different aspect on the story of Job, whereas usually you would just kind of look at the beginning, how everything went bad, and he trusted God, and God restored him, right? But we want to show kids that, hey, even in the middle of hard times, we can trust who God is. We can depend on him. We can call out to him when we have these big feelings. We can, you know, be a help to those who are in these middle of these hurting situations. And so I think this is a timely message for our kids and our families. And we're really excited to share this with you this month. All right. So scrolling on down, first of all, inside the email, we do have the links for the preschool and elementary parent guides. Okay. So if you want to follow along and incorporate some ideas, at home from what we're doing here in DC Kids. You can download those. It'll give you some great ideas as well as our memory verse and all those details that you'll need to know, okay? Moving on through, we do have the tip of the month video out. Every time we send this out, I try to send out a little tip video that we get with our curriculum. And this month, all about some how to be a cool parent. <laughs> so you guys are the coolest parents that we know. We're really excited that you trust us to watch your kids and we want to get to know you guys as well, which is why our question of the month down at the bottom 
is have you gotten to talk with your kids' teacher this um, since we started in May, all right? <laughs> well, June, July, August. That's what I'm thinking of. School started up in August, kind of late August. Everything's kind of up in the air, but you, you get what I'm saying. <laughs> so our question of the month is, have you connected with your kids' teacher yet? Because we want to get to know you guys as parents. We're actually going to be trying to plan a sort of discussion group in November as well so that we can get some key parents in um, and really just hear from you guys. We want to get to know you. We want to know how we can grow as a kids ministry and how we can get better and how we can serve you guys as the parents. So with all that being said, we also have one last resource in there and that is a book. I have not specifically read this book yet. It's on my book list. <laughs> all right. The title of this is so I don't get this wrong. How to talk so kids will listen and how to listen so kids will talk. I think this is a fantastic book title, but it gives a great insight into what it's actually teaching. It's talking about, hey, we want to listen to our kids and we want to be able to have our kids listen to us. It's that conversation, that relational aspect. So it was on the New York Times bestseller list. We are so excited. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting this book as well. So I've got the link on there for you. You can check it out. I'm a great resource for you, okay? So that's all we got for the monthly email. Hope you guys have a fantastic month of October as we jump into the holiday season. We will see you guys next month. Bye.